Hunter pets have been nerfed again. The nerf bat has come in with some new class tuning minutes ago that should go into effect tomorrow. On top of that, priests have seen their healing reduced because priests were massively overpowered. I would actually wager that anyone would argue that those were by far the most overpowered class in the game. So they have a quite a bit of tuning, but also hunter pets were nerfed. So BM hunters are going to be a lot weaker and you probably will switch which pet you use now and i'll get into that in a second then we have something else here we also have marksman hunters kind of actually being buffed now let me show you the the changes that just came out and let me move myself to the other side so for hunters these are the changes chimera shot is having its damage increased from an 85 percent damage modifier to 100 percent that is 25 percent more on chimera shot and what it looks like basically is it will do 85 percent of your weapon damage now it'll do 100 percent what this originally was on launch of season of discovery and you still didn't even use chimera shot was 125 percent so at least it's getting a little bit of a buff but it's still not very strong now explosive shot also is having a tiny buff explosive shot is getting 25 percent more of your attack power this actually will scale really really well for hunters so just know this is actually really nice for like leveling up to level 40 but i would anticipate we're going to see a lot more tuning realistically for the next phases now the mana cost of chimera shot explosive shot carve kill command and flanking shot was or flanking strike was all reduced by 50 percent this is going to be amazing actually so if i equip chimera shot you'll notice right now that it costs 22 mana which is quite a significant amount and this adds up if you are going away from the beast mastery rune if you are doing melee weaving if you are doing anything if you're using any of your abilities mana is a massive issue for hunters so we will most likely swap away from beast mastery to going into actually being a marksman build and i would wager we will swap away from wind serpents and move from wind serpents to cats you will go back to cats or raptors they have basically the same damage output but cats will get dash next phase they could also get stealth next phase and they also have more HP but less armor or the other way around so I would anticipate everybody go and get a 2.0 attack speed cat something like the ghost saber right up here in the runes of Mysteria you can go grab those all right on top of those changes well I guess I didn't even mention the actual beast mastery changes so the beast mastery rune is having the health and damage provided to the pet reduced to 20% Beast Mastery Rune was giving you 30% damage to your pet and 30% HP. That has been reduced by 10%. That's literally a 10% nerf to your pets flat out. But on top of that, the focus regeneration was 80%. It increased your focus regen, basically the spender for your pets so that you can use your abilities. And that was reduced by... 30%. It was reduced from 80% down to 50%. And the big nerf for this for Wind Serpents is that Lightning Breath costs 50 focus. The big reason we could really utilize Wind Serpents was because they got Lightning Breath so often. Now, if we were swapping away from having those modifiers, then you probably would rather have a cat. Wind Serpents are still going to be very solid, but I think the meta pet is going to be a cat now after these nerfs, a cat or raptor, whatever you want. Now, the developer notes are as follows. We remain concerned that hunter pets are still too powerful and believe that the best way forward is to rein in the beast mastery rune while compensating via the hunter's main spells. Now, I don't think this was enough of a buff to be honest, the Chimera shot, but I think that this explosive shot buff will be pretty massive if we look at the later phases. But again, I don't think this is really enough of a buff for what they need because there's a lot of people complaining about hunters and how they perform and how they do too much damage, especially hunter pets. But we'll we'll actually look at that in a second. Actually, let's look at it right now. So hunters, the reason why people complain and love to complain about hunters is because you don't have to be good at a hunter or rogue to do a lot of damage. This is the 10th percentile on damage. So the people that are parsing tens, if you're parsing at a 10, then hunter is the most DPS. If you're parsing at a 10, then warrior is all the way on like seventh DPS. 
Now, if you're parsing in the 50th percentile, so parsing 50s, then it is rogues the highest DPS, hunters down below them, and then warriors. This is as you get more skill. If you play the game better, this is even having half of the skill of everyone else in the game, like it's a 50%. If you go up to the 75%, then it is still rogues by quite a margin because rogues are stronger than hunters in every respect. Hunters and then warriors are basically tied with hunters. Now, if we move up a little further to the 90th percentile, warriors are already on top. Rogues are basically tying them and then hunters are quite a bit below them. And this is where you can really see that once you get towards people playing better, warriors and rogues do way more damage than hunters. And on top of that, warriors do infinitely, not infinitely, but like a crazy amount more. Even in the 95th percentile, watch the gap grow. Warriors way stronger, hunters all the way down. 99th percentile, gap grows even more. Warriors way stronger, hunters all the way down. And then you go to the max percentile like 100%. Warriors are destroying everybody. Warriors are way more powerful than any other class, but hunters don't take any skill whatsoever, and it's hard for people to counter hunter pets in PvP, so hunters are like the issue. They're the problem. The more of a problem in PvP, though, was priests. Priests had their base healing reduced by 20% for their rune spells. Prayer of Mending, Penance, and Circle of Healing were all kind of insanely overpowered they would pretty much full heal you with like one global so priests were outperforming significantly outperforming any other healers and now those are being reined in and so today is my birthday and for my birthday present we get more nerfs to hunters but also some buffs but also nerfs yeah what do we take? I, in the long run, I would prefer to play Marksman anyways. It's more fun. In a speed run, you kind of have to play BM because of mana issues, but maybe that won't necessarily be the case anymore. But I would wager, guys, we're going to be going from Wind Serpents to Cats now with this change. And also, um, yeah, you're probably going to go Marksman if you were just like boss parsing. Maybe play BM. I, I'm, I don't know the numbers yet. I haven't ran them all in my head, but this is what is pretty much happened. And I love you guys. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Nerfed Hunters again. We did it. They did it again.